Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new indie horror game. We're going to be playing FM, uh, a bit like um, PT, but obviously done in their own sort of way in this game. If you guys aren't following me on Twitch, I stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday. So it'll be down in the description to my uh, Twitch channel as well, as well as a pop up on the screen. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into this game. Ooh. Okay, let's do this. Get into the game. Promising. Promising so far. Okay, here I am. Okay. Oh. Someone's just in a random room with blood on the floor. Okay. Oh, I'm in my living room. Okay. Well then. Okay. Oh, left click to interact with certain objects. Flip this light switch. Okay. Okay, I want to keep that light switch on as well. I think. Okay, that's locked. Go back this way. We are very disturbed this oh. week to report the apparent murder suicide of a wife and her two children, supposedly by their husband and father. The 42-year-old man seemingly shot his pregnant spouse once in the stomach before taking his own life. Neither of the children suffered from gunshot wounds, but were severely beaten, both found with fractured skulls and several broken bones. Stay tuned for further details as police are still investigating the area and attempting to find a motive for this horrific event. Okay. Let's jet down here then. Okay, so I can't go back that way. It's fine. Oh. We apologize for the abrupt interruption and currently have a caller waiting that wishes to speak on this gruesome incident. Okay. Oh. Hello. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Oh. Some sort of hospital kind of thing. Uh, hold right click to zoom in certain objects. Summon this radio. The crime was first reported by a neighbor who said she was walking her dog when she heard two gunshots from the interior of the home. Okay. Interior of the home. Let's have a look then. Okay, that's definitely not it. Oh, there's blood here. Is it not this drain here? Can't click it or anything. Okay. The crime fine. was first reported by a neighbor who said she was walking her dog when she heard two gunshots from the interior of the home. Nope. Oh, I can't see anything in there, so I don't think I'm going to be in there. Can't open up these. Oh! Picture of a dog. Can't do anything else with it. Oh. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Okay. Oh. No, 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 no. 
After calling the police, she then went to investigate the commotion and discovered the bodies after receiving no answer at the door. I simply cannot imagine the weight she must feel after discovering such a horrific event so close to her home. After calling the police, she then went to investigate the commotion and discovered the bodies after receiving no answer at the door. I simply cannot imagine the weight she must feel after discovering such a horrific event so close to her home. Covering the body. Okay. Oh, they're on to the door. She described the scene in gross detail, stating that the family bathroom had so much blood on its walls and floor that the drain had been clogged. Okay, so then I saw the drain and it was down here. There we go. Oh. Okay. No, I'm not answering the door. One of the bodies present in the bathroom was the family's 11-year-old daughter, who was the third and final victim to be identified as dead at the scene. Okay. One of the bodies present in the bathroom was the... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Oh. This fire. What the hell? Oh! <gasps> she was there. Okay, that's weird. Oh no, I've got to go through these doors. Okay. Oh. Hey, what? Saving. Okay. I've got to do this again? She was down that corridor. We've got many more callers and details yet to come on this thrilling story. Is the phone over here? I hear it. Okay, let me go pick it up. Okay. Oh, she's not there. Oh. Uh-oh. The father was said to be a heavy drinker by friends and family, and would often cause commotion late at night once returning home. He worked as a construction foreman and would frequently visit the local bar with co-workers once their shifts were over. Okay. Oh, uh, don't tell me behind this door will be a bar. No. Okay. Oh. Okay, she's not there. <gasps> There's a rifle. He kept his 
signature hunting rifle in a locked cabinet at the end of the hallway, the same place that he stored his alcohol. No one was allowed near the cabinet and would be severely punished if found tampering with it. Huh. Okay. Go then. Oh. Okay. Damn. Um. Okay, it's not there. Everything's back to normal, I think. The only safe place to be once the father started drinking was anywhere hidden in the dark. The children oh no! Parents about entire night spent in the closet or under their beds, attempting to avoid any harm. Okay, let's go down here. Oh boy. No, you don't. Not today. Of course. Oh no. Oh no. Grandparents said they were fearful of the wife and children's futures after so many episodes of domestic abuse. They described one incident in particular in which the mother suffered from a traumatic head injury that sent her to the hospital. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Uh, anything changed? Oh, they're all static. Okay. Oh, the cabinet's gone. The father vowed never to drink again after the mother's hospitalization. Oh, the phone is going again. That's the phone there is. I got it, I got it. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh no. That door won't hold for long. Oh, what the? Okay. There's a school. On the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the main office at the time described him as eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. Okay. Go then. Okay. Maybe this way. On the day of the crime, the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. 
But those in the main office at the time huh. described him as eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. Oh, there we go. Okay. Can we, can we go? On the day of the crime, oh. the father checked out both of his children early from school around noon. Those in the main office at the time described him as eerily anxious as the three quickly rushed out of the building. Oh, I see. Okay, there we go. And then we need the other one. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, and then this one at noon. There we go. Okay, there we go. Here we can go now. When called to the front office, both of the children's moods quickly shifted to that of pure dread. Their teachers asked them to gather their books, among other belongings, which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible. <laughs> interrupting a small school of typically only nine students per classroom. Oh, okay. Okay, so we grab one of those. Anything in the lockers? When called to the front office, both of the children's moods quickly shifted to that of pure dread. Their teachers asked them to gather their books, among other belongings, which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible, interrupting a small school of typically only nine students per classroom. I oh, gotta gather everything. Okay, fine. Anything else I can? Go oh, there's a book there. Okay. When called to the front office, both of the children. <laughs> okay, I'm still missing stuff. Teachers asked them to gather their books, among other belongings, which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible, interrupting a small school of typically only nine students per class. Oh, there we go. Anything else? Okay, that's the first stop. Fine. Let me check this other whiteboard then. Or is that it? Surely that's it. When called to the front office, both of the children's moods quickly shifted to that of pure dread. Their teachers asked them to gather their books, among other belongings, which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible, interrupting a small school of typically only nine students per classroom. Okay, let me have a look again. Anything else here? When called to the front office, both of the children's moods quickly shifted to that of pure dread. Their teachers asked them to gather their books, among other belongings. Which they did at the slowest fucking pace possible, interrupting a small school of typically only nine students per classroom. Uh, okay. Right, okay, here's the last one, I believe. Cool.
Right. Anything else you want to tell me? When called to the front office, both of the children's moods quickly shifted to that of pure dread. Their teachers oh, I swear that was the last one. Among other belongings, which mm, they did maybe not. Fucking pace possible. Interrupting the small school of typically only right. nine students per classroom. Okay. Maybe I am missing something then. Okay, here's the last book. Okay. I think I got them all. Nice, I have. Right, okay. Cool. Assigned to opposite rooms from one another, the children also differ greatly in personality. The daughter strive for greatness, her favorite subject being geography, and has always been at the top of her class. The son, on the other hand, was deservedly punished for his actions, often getting sent to time out for acting up. Okay. Uh, there's the geography thing, right? Okay. Time out. Time out, like, over here. Assigned to opposite rooms from one another, the children also differ greatly in personality. Daughter strive for greatness, her favorite subject being geography, and has always been at the top of her class. The son, on the other hand, was deservedly punished for his actions, often getting sent to time out. Oh. Okay. No matter how far away you get, they will always be with you. And then time out. Okay, I don't like this. <laughs> um, let's have a look. No matter how hard you try, you'll end up just like your father. Most days, it seemed like the only safe space for the young man was inside his own locker. If he wasn't getting beaten at home by his father, the children at school would do it instead. His locker must be somewhere over here, right? Most days it seemed like the only safe space for the young man was inside his own locker. If he wasn't getting beaten in Oh. Okay. I saw her again. Um. Oh, there we go. Okay. Just just checking. 
Oh, she's right there. Oh boy. Okay. She's definitely gone this time. Definitely gone this time. Hey, there we go. Okay. Oh, right, that bit's done. <laughs> Through the double doors. What else have we got waiting for us? Okay. more than anything in the world. Emotions that were quickly changed after the little incident. Once returning from the hospital, she couldn't bear to look upon their faces. All she could see was her husband in their eyes. Okay. Oh. Thanks for opening the door for me. This is upside down. Wow. She feared these same emotions would linger once the new member of the family arrived. Something had to change. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, that's the something that had to change. Oh my god. This one. It's definitely this one. Score bear. Um, it's this one. It's definitely. Oh no, it's this one. Okay. I, s I swear I was looking at both of them. Okay, they're all off. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh my God. All of the voices bottled inside of her were finally unleashed. No more abuse. No more suffering.
Uh, what is happening? Oh, it's static as well. Okay. Oh boy. Oh. She finally made up her mind. Her plan for freedom. Okay. Oh, she's not there. Nope. <gasps> what? to get out oh boy do you know what the funniest part of it all is it didn't work oh <gasps> oh my god Gets me every time. Oh. Such a happy family. It's quite strange how almost everyone looks normal from an outside perspective until you pull back the curtain and find a story such as this. It breaks my heart to report these things to the public day in and day out, but it's the reality of our current culture. People eat it up. They love wallowing in the misfortune of others. The mother in tonight's headlining tragedy is another victim for these leeches to feed on, further fueling the growing decay of society. I often struggle with myself, finding that I am a large portion of the problem at hand. Just like her, I am a goddamn parasite that has infected your mind. No matter where you go or what you do, you can never get rid of us. Okay. Calm down. <laughs> It's quite ironic when you think about it all, really. The very place that festered her emotions is what currently shackles you now. Okay. Ooh, let's go through this door. Oh. Okay. Her mind had been warped, damaged by those she loved most. Once she had time alone to think and heal, the absolute darkness inside of her grew exponentially. Her mind had been warped, damaged by those she loved most. Once she had time alone to think and heal, the absolute darkness inside of her grew exponentially. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. She was found dead in the hallway, floating in a pool of blood once the paramedics arrived. <sighs> the unborn child, still within her, was instantly killed when the bullet entered her stomach. Strangely enough, she was found with scratch marks on both of her arms as well as severe cuts on her right hand. The father dropped his children off at home before packing his bags for another impromptu hunting trip, abandoning the family for yet another weekend. Okay, I knew that was going to kind of happen. He 
just found lying in the living room, dead with his head split open from the bottom, rifle still in hand. Pieces of a shattered vase were scattered around him with his left cheek adorned with a massive wound. The two children laid in their beds, unsure of what to do, as the mother beckoned for the daughter's help with something in the living room. The daughter was found dead in the bathroom, head smashed against the tub. The son, on the other hand, would fall victim to a fate much worse than death. Okay, much worse than death. Okay. So I'm guessing on the, uh, the son. Oh. This should again. I think it's about time to change the channel. Huh. Oh. Okay. Oh boy. Okay. This is new. I think you know what needs to be done. Let go. Oh, I'm back here again. Okay. The son went to investigate the commotion in the living room. Uh -oh. But he couldn't get there in time. Oh, no. Oh. 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 Oh, that's how I got knocked out the first time. Wow, that was FM. If you'd like to play this game for yourself, uh, description down below. But yeah, that was that was FM. I will see you guys on another video. Take it easy. Bye bye.